Everyone's talking about vaping, the dangers of vaping, and some who vape say it's perfectly safe. So what's the real deal with vaping and what are the dangers? So we asked Dr. Avital Harari to join us this morning to talk a little bit about what the dangers of vaping are. Hi, doctor. Nice to have Hi, you here. Thank you. So vaping uh, has now supplanted smoking pretty much. I mean, it seems like kids are really into vaping. Uh, a lot of adults are into vaping. What's the difference between smoking and vaping? Well, there's this misconception that vaping is somehow uh, healthier. The safer way. Yeah. Safer. Yeah. Um, obviously, with smoking, you're burning something and inhaling the burned smoke into your lungs. And we know that it gives a high risk of multiple things, cancers, heart disease, lung disease, all sorts of things that can happen when you're actually smoking a cigarette um, or a marijuana joint. So then the vaping came out thinking, OK, we'll get rid of the uh, burning and the and the actual plant that you're inhaling and we're instead getting a vaporized solution which might include nicotine or might include THC which is uh, the uh, one of the active forms in mar marijuana mm -hmm. or CBD and um, they thought that this might be like a healthier way because it's vapor right? because it's vapor vapor yeah. but mo but now we're seeing obviously that there are these really scary illnesses that are happening across the country, about 2,000 people being hospitalized for acute lung injury. And why is this happening? Yeah. So the, what the e-cigarette e does is it aerosolizes an oil, basically, and you're inhaling something that's, again, not normal to inhale, right? Normal, you're normally inhaling the air, air oxygen. It's usually moisture, of uh, water vapors of some sort, but not an oil, is this an oil vapor? It's an oil vapor. Oh, I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And, and it goes into your lungs and then it causes this inflammatory response system. Obviously not with everybody, um, but there are certain people that are now, and especially the ones that are less than 30, that are more and more being admitted and there's been at least 35 deaths attributed to this. Yeah. And so what's happening, they don't know 100%. Recently, they came out, the CDC just came out uh, with a potential cause, which is the vitamin E acetate. Mm -hmm. It's a thickener. It's kind of an oil in itself. If you actually go to the drugstore, you can get vitamin E oil that you can put on your skin. Sometimes you can ingest it, and it's fine. But if you yeah. inhale something like that. Your lungs aren't used to th no. that. No. Yeah. It, it, it creates this inflammatory response. And if you're doing more and more and more of it, or if it's, uh, some people are actually taking the oils and making them, them themselves, it, it ends up being terrible for your right, lungs. So let me stop you there because you've said this a couple of times. Inflammatory mm -hmm. response. Yeah. So we're talking about the, uh, the the elements of a lung. Yes. And so let's say my fingers are, are, are the lung. <laughs> yeah. They would suddenly blow up or what would happen there? So what is the lung? The lung is all of these little um, areas where oxygen is inhaled mm -hmm. and across the... Um, let's say, the wall mm -hmm. of the bronchi or the alveoli, which are the little areas that the bronchi end up in. in. Right. At that area, there's little capillaries, and the oxygen gets transferred across, and that's how we get oxygen to the rest of our body. Okay. Right? And that's also how we expel CO2. But that's also a place where if anything else comes in there, it can trigger an inflammatory response, some sort of... Um, uh, response where all of your body is trying to figure out what this is and sort of react to it and fix oh, whatever like it, needs it is. to fix it. Yes. Okay, right, right. Yeah. Okay. And so it, that's what happens. And so if it's diffuse throughout the entire lungs, the whole lung is trying to react to whatever this foreign toxic substance mm. is. And that might mean fluid filling in the lungs, which obviously that's like drowning yeah. almost. Um, deposits that are clumping in the lungs so that they can kind of cut off whatever this toxic stimulus is. So um, the lining of the lungs is very, you know, you don't want to put things in there that are not natural if yeah. you can help it. So, yeah. so imagine that scenario in a young body. That's right. Okay, so I'm, I'm an older person, so uh, my lungs have been developed. I've, I've had these lungs my whole life, but a young person who's still developing, what does that do to, to, to someone who's growing? Oh, yeah, that's a problem because obvious, well, so there's different stages, right? The right. older, older you are, um, the harder your lungs will actually uh, take to repair themselves. The young people, we always say, you know, as physicians, if you're in your 30s or if you're in your 20s, you're young, you will sus sustain more injury to your body, be it an infection or whatever, and you should pull out more easily. Right. But what's happening is that people, I don't, first of all, who knows what they've, they're actually inhaling. Yeah. Um, but the other thing is that if you're, if you're really young, yeah, it'll start to affect your development. And actually marijuana, I mean, there's a whole topic of 
yeah, you know, marijuana other, when yeah. you're 16 or 17 and you're developing brain. Right. But it's the oxygenation that really will affect the way that your development is a little bit later on. All right, so uh, just to wrap this up. So yeah. vaping can have a devastating effect on your lung and if you're developing, it could, it could nearly kill you. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's really the bottom line here, yep. what we have to watch out for. Absolutely. All right, yeah. Dr. Avital Harari, thanks so much. Now I understand so much more how it all affects your lungs.